Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about Zurich, Switzerland's largest city and economic center. It has a population of about 430,000, but there are at least 1.3 million people living in the outskirts of the city. Zurich is well known for its financial industry, its university and for having a high quality of life. Although it is by far the most populated city in Switzerland, Zurich is not Switzerland's capital city. But instead it's the city of Bern, which can be reached in less than one hour by train. And in case you didn't already know, Switzerland is located at the very center of Europe and please don't confuse Switzerland with Sweden or even Swaziland on the African continent. The climate in Zurich is quite balanced, the winters are not too cold and in summer there are only a few weeks of intense heat. So that's why a lot of Swiss people like to visit Italy, France or Spain during summer, since all these countries are in very close driving distance from Switzerland. If you like to ski or snowboard, you can easily spend your winter's vacation in the Swiss Alps, which are not even located a two hours drive from Zurich. In addition, it's impressive that you can even see the Swiss Alps right from the city center. Isn't that beautiful? In Zurich, people speak Swiss German. Nevertheless, newspapers and TV series are all in German, because based on the fact that every Swiss canton has its own version of Swiss German, there are no grammar rules for that language. In Swiss German, the city of Zurich is actually called Zürich. The people of Zurich are told to be restrained. In the mornings, you barely see people smiling, instead they are all focused on work and on earning money. There is a huge international community in Zurich. English and French are understood by most of the citizens of Zurich. People from countless other countries are immigrating to Zurich in order to get a better paid job or to just enjoy the high quality of life. People who work in Zurich earn the highest salaries worldwide. On average, a worker in Zurich earns almost $5,900 per month, which is really impressive. Not even New York or London can keep up with those numbers. The main reason for that is that there are tons of international companies located in Zurich. Especially the financial sector is strong, with global players like UBS or Credit Suisse headquartered in Zurich. But even huge American and Asian IT companies settled down in Zurich, like Apple, IBM, Cisco, Samsung, Huawei, Dell, HP, Microsoft and Google. Google actually built its largest site outside of the United States in Zurich, having almost 5000 employees there. But besides all that, housing prices have skyrocketed over the last 50 years. During the 1960s, Zurich's population was shrinking and nobody wanted to live in the city. Now people can't even find affordable apartments to rent. A two-bedroom apartment located in the center of Zurich can cost up to 1.5 million Swiss francs, which is equivalent to 1.51 million dollars. And what about other costs? Unfortunately, not only apartments are expensive, but also daily goods like food, household goods and services. Switzerland ranks first on the Big Mac index, meaning that you have to spend more than six and a half dollars to get a Big Mac. For the amount of money you spend to live in Zurich for a month, you could stay in Prague or Lisbon for more than two and a half months, or in Istanbul for almost four months. There is a small observation tower situated on a hill in the outskirts of Zurich, which in the past could be climbed for free. But now people have to spend almost two Swiss francs just in order to get to the top of the tower. So in Switzerland, money makes the world go round. Zurich is a city located at the river and a lake simultaneously. At the Lake Zurich, people like to swim, ride their boats or just to have a great time in the park. Water from the Lake Zurich runs into a river called Limmat. It flows through the whole city and people enjoy riding down the river using their rubber boats. Zurich was ranked first worldwide in terms of quality of life for seven years until 2008. Since then, it is ranked at second place right behind Vienna, the capital city of Austria. But there are three more Swiss cities ranked in the top 15 cities with the highest quality of life, which can all be reached within two hours of traveling. Bern, Basel and Geneva. People in Zurich argue whether it's better to live on the right or on the left side of the lake Zurich. While on the left hand side of the lake there are more companies and better access to highways and public transport, on the right hand side there are more wealthy people living in prestigious city districts. Furthermore, there is more sunshine on the right hand side of the lake, 
so maybe that's why it's called the Golden Coast. In Zurich there are more than 1,200 drinking fountains, which makes this city the city with the most drinking fountains in the world. Tap water is absolutely drinkable in whole Switzerland. Another interesting fact about the center of Zurich is the 6 o'clock square. It used to be a quite dirty place with a lot of parking places. And during the Second World War, there even was a rapeseed field right in the center of that square. Then in 2003, people of Zurich voted to restructure the area in order to make it more pleasant for people living and visiting Zurich. After that, they built a massive underground car park and constructed a square where people now like to hang out, meet friends and spend their quality time. While building this pedestrian zone, construction workers found remainings of a Neolithic community living here in the years of 11,000 BC. Since we are already talking about Zurich's history, there is yet another interesting fact about Zurich. During 1916 to 1917, Lenin, the leader of the Russian Revolution, was living in Zurich. His wife wrote down that they enjoyed the fact that in Zurich there were many revolutionary-minded young people from different countries. Moreover, they liked the Lake Zurich and the fact that there were better libraries than in Bern, where they were living previously. Also, there is a rumor that he still has a bank account at the Cantonal Bank of Zurich, holding a little more than 5 Swiss francs, which back then was quite a lot of money. Another considerable advantage of Zurich are Zurich's educational institutes. The Technical University of Zurich, also known as ETH, is an university with one of the world's best reputation. In 2019 it was ranked third of the world's top universities specialized in the engineering and technology sector, surpassing universities like Oxford, Berkeley University of California or even Cambridge. Many international students are studying at this university. In fact, more than 50% of the students are not Swiss citizens. Even physicist Albert Einstein was studying and teaching at this university. Zurich is relatively clean and has low criminal rates. There are not too many green areas, but based on the fact that Zurich is surrounded by some hills, there are a lot of opportunities to spend some time in the woods in order to get in touch with nature and to relax. Public transport is truly at the cutting edge. Not only in Zurich, but in whole Switzerland trains, trams and buses follow a strict timetable and you can absolutely rely on those plans. All public transport facilities are quite clean and there are epic two-story trains bringing people to their destinations all around Switzerland. However, public transportation in Switzerland is expensive. Even Swiss people have the impression that public transport in Switzerland should be cheaper. Another interesting place to visit is Zurich's main shopping street called Bahnhofstrasse, which is located at the very center of Zurich. It has dozens of stores where you can buy chocolate, watches and other high luxury goods. The street ranks 9th worldwide in terms of rental prices. The amount of sales per square meter is absolutely jaw-dropping and can hold up with other famous shopping streets like the Upper Fifth Avenue in New York City or Causeway Bay in Hong Kong. That's even more impressive if you consider how tiny Zurich is compared to those cities. In winter, the city administration installs glamorous decoration lights, which are recommendable to see. In the upper part of Zurich, there is a city area called Fifth Circle, where you can find some taller residential and office buildings. They don't even surpass the 200 meter mark, but for Swiss standards that's already quite high. Additionally, there are a lot of bars, restaurants and nightclubs where young people like to pull all-nighters. In fact, Zurich is the city with the most nightclubs per capita in Europe. But because there are not many people living in Zurich, the variety of nightclubs is still relatively small. The world's biggest techno parade called Street Parade is annually taking place in Zurich. More than 1 million people all around the world participate in this event. There are some local people of Zurich who go on a holiday trip during those days just to flee from the festival's craziness. But if you prefer to party and to listen to techno music, you definitely have to consider to join this festival for at least once in your lifetime. To sum up, you definitely have to see Zurich if you are traveling to Switzerland. For sure it's not the cultural center of Switzerland, but it is definitely the economical and financial center. 
There are a lot of cool places to visit and I'm sure that you will enjoy your stay. Have you ever visited Zurich? What were your impressions? Please let me know in the comments. And if you have some more ideas about which cities or countries I should cover next, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss any new videos about the world's most interesting cities and countries. And don't forget to activate the bell so that you get notified every time a new video about an interesting city appears. Thanks for watching.